Hi everyone, I'm Nan. I'm very glad to present our work named Improving the Ability of Deep Neural Networks to Use Information from Multiple Views in Breast Cancer Screening. It's a work from NYU Center for Data Science and NYU School of Medicine Center for Advanced Imaging Innovation and Research. In breast cancer screening, it's very common to acquire images as multiple views or slices of the breast. Specifically, in screening mammography, images are taken from the side and the top of the breast. They consist of the two central views, named medial lateral oblique and cranial caudal, shortened as MO and CC. It has been demonstrated in literature that for radiologists, using both views is essential to make an accurate diagnosis. There are also attempts in building multi-view deep neural networks to process both views simultaneously. However, does it utilize information in both views? In fact, there are evidence showing that it is hard for this type of network to achieve satisfactory performance in some tasks. One example can be drawn from our previous work on breast cancer screening. We compare two networks. In a joint network, representations from each view are concatenated as input to the classifiers. While in the image-wise network, there are four separate models operating independently on each view. We observe that the image-wise network outperform the joint network. It demonstrated that it is hard to use this network to utilize information. Similar observations have been made in other works. For example, in Wang's work, they showed that some multi-model networks perform worse than single model networks in video classification tasks. And in Hasher's work, they observed that it is useful to use lateral views for some tasks, but it is not trivial to find a good way to incorporate information from that view into the networks. This motivated our work presented in this paper. And firstly, we're interested in understanding what makes using both views of the breast difficult. We start from univue models trained separately on CC and ML view. We observed that there's a different learning speed and different generalization performance of those univue models. Ultimately, we're interested in how this difference influences the training dynamic of the multi-view network. We observed that the part of the model operating on MO view has a higher gradient norm over the training and contribute more to the overall loss reduction. We hypothesize that this leads to a kind of overfitting that the model relies too strongly on one of the view. Next, we evaluated a series of methods proposed in multi-view literature and investigated in how to improve its ability. We identified two methods that can help, including one method named modality dropout, where modalities are sampled to be dropped out randomly. And another method is sharing weights between the part of the model operating on each view. We showed that those two methods can achieve better performance than the baseline for breast cancer screening task. We would like to highlight it's still hard to utilize information from multiple views for medical diagnosis with deep neural networks. However, we propose that improving the training dynamic is a promising direction. Thank you for your attention. And here are my collaborators.